position is it's pretty good, but like the virtual is okay because you have to learn new things to turn an assignment. And like I play an instrument now, I play the saxophone, so I have to like sometimes I have to come up to the school and get my instrument fixed or when it's broke, I need like he needs to look at it, so I have to come up to the school sometimes. So that's different from how I was at Cobb. So, because usually we'd be at school and he'd tell us what we did wrong or what was wrong with the instrument, but we have to come up to the school and things like that. So, usually everything changed, and I just thank God for everything he's done for me. So, so you, you've been in school right now for going on four weeks a, a month, I believe. And um, are you doing brick and mortar, digital school? Which, which, which school are you doing? Digital. The digital. So with the digital, again, the school system is different this year. Um, are you on a block schedule or regular schedule? Block. OK, so tell us, give us a little bit more detail about the block schedule. Give us a, a walkthrough of your normal Monday through Friday. OK, usually it's each class is, is two hours long. Usually it's like about 58 minutes or so, but this year it's like two hours long for each class. And we go, like on Monday, for example, we go, do, we go to first period, third period, and sixth period for two hours long. And on Tuesday, we go to second period, fourth period, and sixth period for two hours long. And that's different from the break. All right. So with dealing with all of these things during COVID, um, you know, I know that right now they're getting ready to bring you guys back to school eventually. Um, how are you dealing with or how are you managing your stress levels right now coming from middle school to high school, especially with the course load? You're going from having, you know, a school that was, you know, maybe 700 students to now going back to a school that's a lot bigger. There's going to be more people there. How are you going to deal with that? I'm going to take note of everything and pray to God about like him keeping my stress level down, keeping me to be able to have stress level in my classes. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank God for that. <laughs> All right, next up we got uh, Brother Breon. Can you give us a little bit of about you? My name is Brian Bolivar. I'm currently enrolled in Wakola High School. Um, this is my junior year. Yeah. All right. So, we're going to, uh, we know that Wakola school system is a lot different from Leon County school system. So, give us a, you know, how, how are you managing? Are you actually in school or are you going uh, virtual? Yes, I'm in school. I'm going to every one of my classes. Okay, so how are you dealing with that? Tell me a little bit how. You know, walking through the hallway, is it, is it the same as it was last year or was it different? How is it? So, walking through the hall this year is more of like one of the separated from people you don't want to walk too close, especially from people that don't actually take key to what's going on, don't wear a mask, and that just think it's a regular school day, and it's really not. Okay. All right. So, give us a little bit about your course load. You know, are you, are you taking any other classes and, you know, at the school, away from school? How are you doing? Yeah, so, um, I currently take a enrollment class, so for that, it's at TCC, but they have a class at the school that I go to. Um, so I go through odd classes, like first of all, odd days from Monday, um, then Wednesday, and then Friday. So it's classes one, three, five, and seven. And it's like two hours long, so for that, it's, it's a long class. And for me, sometimes the teachers might not be here because they might have been quarantined so it's sort of like you don't really learn as much. And then when they do come back, it's a lot of pressure on you to learn all the material in two hours. Okay. So again, we want to look at COVID, which stands for, again, counting our victories and distress. And when we look at the word distress, we think of it as extreme pain, sorrow, and anxiety. Now, dealing with what are some coping mechanisms that you have come up with being a a junior in a dual enrolled student to manage your stress level, you know, coming to church and how do you manage everything, you know, and you also work a full time job as well. So, how do you deal with that? So, for me, it's more of just trying to keep God first, obviously, keeping God first in all that you do, so He'll direct my paths. And then, 
just trying to make sure I have everything at home straight before I try to do anything at a job. Um, make sure my home, everything that I do at home is doing my chores. Then doing school, trying not to procrastinate. And then at work is just trying to be the best employee I can be. Amen. 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 If you could give, you know, you know, right now, uh, you also have a birthday coming up, correct? So how old will you be turning? 17. All right, 17. So you are technically one year away from being considered an adult, you know. How are you managing uh, to handle, you know, your, your life change right now? Because in two years from now, you're going to be technically on your own. So how are you preparing yourself in this new age or this new norm? Do you, do you feel comfortable moving forward, you know, in today's society as far as with the mask and everything, or do you want things to go back to as they were? I do want things to go back to how they were. But I mean, in this current situation, I'm just trying to like live it the best way I can, just knowing to wear a mask, wash my hands, just not trying to be as close to people at school. Hey man, give him a hand. Hey man, we thank God for that. Just, just wanted to show, you know, and, and acknowledge our youth right now that are going through high school. You know, and the things that they have to see on a day-to-day -day basis, um, dealing with COVID, you know, it, it changes.